I love working with natural light the most since it's more challenging, I guess, but um, studio lights could be pretty hard as well, depending on what your setup is. So it's kind of, it's kind of both. Um, I'm into strobe, yeah, but lately I've been putting it away also because uh, it's, it's a lot to, to work with, you know, when you're, you, you, I feel like you sweat a lot more when you're running around, especially if it's just a one-man person, you know, with a model. I usually don't work with assistants right now, but um, right now I'm getting into, uh, I'm leaving the strobes on the side, I'm getting back into natural photography, just uh, looking for the light. Uh, I, I met a photographer recently who took me to a wedding and and he was just talking to me about finding the light and I fell in love with that. And he's like, you don't really need flash and if you do, you want to add a strobe or something, you can use that as a fill. And I was like, okay, I never really looked at it that way. So I've been getting more into that. Yeah. Strobe light, you're trying to, you're, you're essentially trying to control the light and try to get to do what you envision. Compared to the sun, there's no blocking the sun or natural light, I guess you could say. It's one direction. You could bounce it, but you know that's as far as you're gonna go. You cannot. You could block it the same way you could do as in you know strobes and all that. But I guess you could say your 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 f stop and your ISO is gonna be constant compared to a strobe. You could change it and change the dynamic of it completely different from like a harsh light to dark shadows. And then in, in natural light, you still have that that gradient where it falls from really bright to really dark, and it's beautiful. There, you, you could do that in the studio too, but you know, I guess you could say that there's something very special about both. And it, sometimes they go hand in hand together, and sometimes they don't. But you could tell the difference between, I guess you could say, a, a, a studio portrait and a, light, a regular ambient light portrait or you know daylight but both bring their essence to it. Natural light, for sure. Um, I would say 95% of what I shoot is all natural light. I do mess around with strobes a lot more so recently than I have before, because I have a lot more access to studios now, and it's, it's really fun to try those things out, but still 